along with humble means, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I've learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, of having abundance and suffering need. You know what Paul is describing here? He's describing good days and bad days. He's describing days in the sunlight and days in, in the rain. He's describing the ups and downs of life. He says, I, I found the secret. I found the secret in, in not just surviving those days but overcoming and rejoicing and exulting in those days. And the secret is verse 13. That I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. That strength of that gift of God. Trials they're going to come. We know that. We've, we've gone through those days. And we're going to go through many, many more. But what attitude are, are we going to choose? Are we going to choose to focus on the things that are out of our control? Those things that, that are they're here and they're gone it's like trying to hit a, a moving target it's never the same it's never in the same place and we will drive ourselves crazy been there or are we going to choose to focus on those things that never change and that thing that can never be taken away are we going to choose to say it is well with my soul. And then let us live in that strength of God. Knowing His power and His victory in our lives. I'm going to close this in prayer and then we're going to have invitation. Maybe this morning you are in the midst of one of those trials and the invitation for you is to come and, and pray and say, God, let me have the right attitude. Maybe your greatest need this morning is strength. Let me tell you that strength is not going to come and until you first know the one who gives it. Maybe your need this morning is, is that salvation that, that can never be taken away. It is a free gift of God that is ours by faith. Maybe this morning you need that faith to come to God, ask Him to save you, and He will. The altar is going to be open. If God is moving, if God is speaking to your heart, after we pray, when we stand the same, I'm going to invite you to come and pray if you feel that. If you would like for me to pray with you, I would love to do that as well. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I... Lord, I, I thank you for this word, even though the easy thing for, for us to do would be to stand here and say that we're not going to face trials, but the reality is we do and we will. Lord, I pray that by your word we are better equipped to face those days. Lord, I pray that you would help us to choose to have that attitude of exalting in who you are and rejoicing in the salvation that you've given to us. Lord, I pray that we would live in your strength and your power and in your victory. Lord, just use this time of invitation. 
Again, may it bring glory and honor to the name of our Lord and Savior. It's all things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.